Hello, hello, and welcome to Tuesday's Lunch Break Live, where I share simple, applicable tips you can incorporate immediately to help you reach your goals and live a healthy, happy lifestyle. Um, okay, so this question has come up quite often over the last couple weeks, and so I wanted to ask you, do you suffer from night sweats? So this can be something that plagues men and women, and the tip I'm gonna share with you today is something that men and women can both do. However, it is something that really mainly plagues women of a certain age, and I will get to that here in just a minute. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Kim Klinkenbeard, and over the last 30 years, I have helped thousands of people take back their health and reach their goals through my Mind and Body Transformation Program that I offer for women only 40 and over, which brings me back to our topic today. Do you have night sweats? So I, when I was um, going through menopause and I went super early, we didn't know that was what was going on with me, um, but in my late 20s, I actually entered menopause. And so I was also during that time teaching lots of aerobics classes and doing Ironman triathlons. And so when I would go to the doctors stating that something was off and not working right, they were just thinking I was overtraining and um, my body fat was low or an athlete or something. And I was like, that's not it. But anyway, I was too young for that to red flag that it might be menopause or something going on hormonally with me. So they wouldn't even test me. So if I was getting night sweats and they were just saying, well, it's your metabolism is working over time because of your training load. That happened to not be the case. So listen to your bodies. If you take nothing else from this, listen to your bodies and advocate for yourself. You're living in that body and you know what's going on better than anybody else. Reach out to me. I have a list of doctors that I work with that I send my clients to, but advocate for yourself. If you know something's not right, something's just off, then go and get it tested and be persistent in that. But that's not what we're talking about today. So night sweats. I would wake up covered in sweat in a puddle. I would have to change my pajamas at times. And it was just disrupting my sleep. And I knew that something was off, but the doctors weren't listening to me. And so I really didn't have any kind of recourse except to just wade through the misery and wait it out. And it did finally subside and when I finally reached total menopause, but you do not have to suffer. And here is one thing that you can do if you have night sweats, and this works no matter what. So it doesn't matter if you are in menopause or not, or if your hormones are telling you something or not. It could be this one simple thing. I really love to give simple tips and tricks that are not exaggerated, meaning that we don't jump straight into it's a hormone issue, I'm going through menopause. We wanna just eliminate some things that might be contributing to the night sweats that have nothing to do with that. You may not be entering menopause, but sometimes you may be doing some of these other things and that's what is triggering the night sweats. So what am I talking about? Well, first I would like you to raise your hand if you are having night sweats and I will send you a little link as well in Messenger, but one culprit could be that you're eating too close to your bedtime and you're eating a certain thing too close to your bedtime. So our blood sugar and our body digesting food can cause our body temperature to rise right? That's part of metabolism. And it will cause your body temperature to rise, which will cause you to sweat at night. So if you're eating too close to bedtime, you're asking your digestive system to kick into high gear. And then you go lay down and your body's really working to digest your food. So here's one thing that your body overworks to digest high protein and sugary carbohydrates. 
I know. So a lot of us, I grew up eating cereal right before we went to bed. That was just something we did in my house. And I realized as I got older into adulthood that that was not good for me. And so I eliminated that and that really did help with digestive issues um, and night sweats, my sleep in general. So if you're eating sugary carbohydrates right before bed, that boosts, boosts your um, uh, blood sugar up and your insulin and that causes your body to go into the digestive system but also raises its your body temperature. And that will cause you to have some night sweats in the middle of the night. The other thing is if you're eating too much or too many calories of protein, that can cause the same thing. So what I recommend is if you feel like, I know, but I'm kind of hungry before I go to bed. Okay, you can do two things. You can eat a little bit more at supper time or move it a little bit closer to bedtime. Ideally, you want a couple hours after your last meal before bed. So if you go to bed at 10 o'clock, you don't wanna have another a meal after 8 p.m. So that you might check that and see if that you need to move your supper time. But what I like to do and what I have my clients do is um, do a green smoothie. I have a free smoothies recipe book on my website. I will be thrilled to share that with you. You can download that for free. And there are several green smoothie recipes in there and it does a lot for your body. One, it will not cause your body to overwork through the digestive process at night. It's hydrating. It gives you tons of vitamins and minerals like iron, which can also contribute to night sweats if you're low in iron. So it will give you all of those things and then it helps you with your sleep instead of disrupting it. So if you have night sweats and maybe you're doing that, maybe you're eating right before bed or you're eating sugary carbs or protein right before bed and that's keeping you awake, raise your, let me know if that was the, the culprit. And if you're a woman 40 and over, I would love to connect with you and tell you a little bit more about the smoothies and how that can help you through perimenopause and menopause. So I would love to talk with you too. Let me know if you are going to try some of these or if you have other concerns or you want videos made about. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.